Warehouse Championship will take place in Arlington. What is up, my guys? It's your boy, Galixie, back here with another video. And today, man, we got a special video. We got Hayden Deegan out here on that Monster Energy Star Racing Yamaha machine. Man, I am excited to check out Hayden Deegan in Monster Energy Supercross 6, the video game. I'm stoked to uh, check him out. He's not technically in the game. Oop, and he's taking a dirt nap. Uh, he's not technically in the game, but uh, I put him in the game and you know, kind of created his character. Uh, 5'9", he's like 175, but he's a little guy. But um, yeah, man, let's hop straight into the video. Let's get it. All right, guys, and we're gonna give them a 15 second head start. Um, it's a 10 minute main event, so we're gonna give them a 10 second head start. And if you guys have not, man, Go check out the Deegan's, uh, is not Instagram, yes, Instagram, but not Instagram. Uh, go check out their YouTube channel, man. Uh, I really enjoy it. They post some really good stuff, and it gives you a little bit of background uh, about the, about really who the Deegan's are and what they really stand for. Um, it's kind of been why, uh, I'm a huge fan of, uh, Hayden Deegan. You know, he is, he's a young kid who... He grinds, man. The dude, like, he does have, like, the best of everything. Don't get me wrong. Um, but, dude, he wants it. And he grinds and he fights. And I love it. The Deegan's the metal militia, man. Love it. Oh, no. It's crazy. One day people are going to know Hayden Deegan before they ever know Brian Deegan. Because to me, man, Brian Deegan was a legend. Played that man a freak style back in the day on the PS2. Oh, what a legend. My dad also met Brian uh, Deegan at Loretta Lynn's, I think, last year. Super cool guy. Um, but, you know, it's just the little things with them. Like, for example, when we were at the Indy uh, Supercross race, Hayden Deegan was one of the only... He was one of the only top riders in the to stay for the, uh, like, FCA devotional. And, you know, not saying, like, the other people were just disrespectful or whatever. No. Like, it's just the little things. It's like his character, and he's just... I feel like he's trying to get better. He's taking notes. Um, he's learning. He's coming in and putting the work in. And he kind of stays off social media. Besides, like, of course, the D channel and... Um, things of that nature but for him like he doesn't have really like an Instagram that he's looking at all the time I don't even think he has it on his phone actually um, I think that's what I heard them say in the interview um, and but I've really been a fan since you know Brian Deegan back when I was a little kid the metal militia it's dope how can you not like him it's still a riot Back when they were doing the Krusty Demons there for a while. Um, oh, come here. Wow, what a move by Hayden. We are, oh no, we go down and we're taking a dirt nap. Oh, dang. But man, back when uh, the Krusty Demons, as we cased the absolute crap out of the hub. Uh, man, we're going down again, no. Um, but the Krusty Demons, um, would literally like riot after their shows in Australia. I uh, saw that on the Gypsy Tales um, interview, and that shit is that's crazy, man. They were just over like, yeah, let's just riot, let's destroy everything, and they would go and destroy their entire bikes um, and everything, and just trash the place until eventually they were like, hey, you can't do this anymore, man. Like. Like, people are getting hurt and you're just destroying everything. And he's like, yeah, you're not wrong. But I think that's sick. Just being different, man, I, I respect that. And I think Hayden's going to be someone who strives, strives to be different. Um, and that's appreciated, man. Don't be the same as everybody else. 
you don't have to do it the same way as everybody else either. You know, he comes from a racing family who like, has everything, but you don't have to have that, man. You don't have to have that. Now, you got to be good and skilled and kind of have an act for it, but... And then a work ethic. The problem with dirt bikes right now is they're just so expensive, so it's tough to kind of get your hands on one of them unless you're willing to spend a bunch of money. And the upkeep on them too is, is you can get expensive too. All right, anyways, back to the race, man. We got this man Hayden Deegan who has been popping off all super cross season um, as we're going down to the ground now. Um, but he's been killing it all super cross season. Man. Uh, really impressed with the way that he has uh, carried himself and also just like finished in the races. I had no doubt uh, that he was going to be good though, honestly. I was just like, it was just a matter of time. Um, but for him to be doing it this early, man, that is, that's quite impressive. He got, uh, he has had a couple podiums. He had even had a podium at Daytona, man. That is dope. Like, he's 17 years old. And ha he has a podium at Daytona Supercross. That's ridiculous. I'm ready to see him win a race, though. I'm ready for it, man. I want him to win a main event. He's won, already won a couple heat races. Um, but I'm ready for a main event win. And I really think it is possible for it to happen this year. He's right there, man. Oh, man. And my bike, what is happening, bro? Like, like this game needs an update, and that has to get fixed, bro. Like, there's just weird stuff that's, like, wonky and bugs that just, like, like, I feel like you shouldn't even crash, bro. Like, most of the stuff you crash in this game. And you should crash for some of the stuff you don't crash in. Well, for example, if you're going to case a monster triple, you probably should go down. Unfortunately, I hate to say it because I case them all the time, but like, that's just how it should be. But you shouldn't be going up a jump and just go down for no reason. Like, that's ridiculous. We got three minutes left to push. Enzo Lopes is all over the place to push this man, Colt Nichols, and get that number one spot. Can Deeks get it done? Shouldn't have switched up in the third there, probably, though. Like, right there, bro. Like, that just shouldn't happen, man. Like, that section is just so wonky. It's so annoying. I kind of like that uh, line right there. It's just a cool little fun, fun line. And Colt Nichols is just running away with this after I've went down 155 times. But I'm coming for Enzo Lopes right now. Watch, I'm going to pull the brakes up. And I'm going to go underneath. I don't have enough power to get it done. Enzo's holding me off on the inside. Not anymore, my guy. Deeds gets by Enzo Lopes. And now he sets his eyes on that man, Colt Nichols, with 2 minutes and 38 seconds left. Is there enough time left uh, to do what we need to do, man? Can we just stay smooth here for once? All right, let's just go up it. There we go. Gotta go up that so slow, man. That's ridiculous. Almost went down there in that corner. Colt Nichols is within three seconds of Hayden Danger Boy D. By the way, Back when um, Hayden was racing the amateurs, like the super mini class, dude, this guy would win by like 20, 30 seconds a lap. Uh, it's just ridiculous. He would just kill everybody, and it was so stupid. Like, he'd win Loretta's by like 10 seconds. And that's like the best of his best. Like, best of the super mini class. And he's just dusting them Kind of like he's going to do with Colt Nichols. I can get up here. Cole Nichols is throwing it away. All right, here we go. This is it right here. Cole Nichols cases it. Hayden Deegan sets him up. Oh, my gosh. Get out of the way, Cole. We're going to run him off the track. Oh, that's a classic danger boy. And it actually comes back to haunt him this time. Oh, no. With a minute left, Hayden Deegan is fighting his own teammate once again with his boy, Cole Nichols. 
No, and I go down in the corner, man. Like, that is so stupid. Gosh, dude, that is so annoying. This game just pisses me off sometimes. But, it looks like Cole Nichols went down. Oh, man. No! I was trying to get the freaking uh, screenshot for the old thumbnail. And they think they can just take advantage of me right there. Like, why doesn't Cold Nickel not experience this? And he does case that every time. Oh man, and Hayden D gets coming up for blood. That has to be it, man. That has to be it. I'm gonna run away with it now. Yep, gotta be. Should've went inside there, but it's alright. The Colt doesn't look like it. Oh, and I seen that turn a little wide. All right, with two final laps remaining, it's Colt Nichols and Hayden Danger Boy Deegan. I guess when he turns 18, does that mean he becomes Danger Man? Danger Man. Oh, man. Not quite, uh, I have... Got, I haven't quite gotten the hang of the um, manual shift system here, um, but you know I'm trying. And Hayden's foot just went in the ground. Oh, with two seconds or two minutes left, with two laps left, and entering the white flag, we are up five seconds on Colton Nichols, and we're trying to catch this. Who's in the last right here? Who's this guy? One can only hope it's Jordan Smith. I don't think it is, but that would be hilarious. Levi Kitchen. Well, see you, Levi. I'm about to dunk on you, big foul. AJ Catazaro. I like AJ. He's a super nice guy. Super nice guy. See ya, punk. See ya, punk. Let's go, man. Hayden Deegan. I'm so excited to get him in the game next year. Uh, that's going to be lit, like getting him in the game for real. But for now, you know, we'll do what we can do with his uh, lookalike, right? And Hayden Deegan takes the checkered flag here in Arlington, man. Marking the end of this man, if you guys like the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll check you on the next one. Peace.